there's about 10 of us sardined inside a karaoke booth. We haven't paid, so we attempt to guess the passcode as we pass rum and cokes round and sound out the only working microphone. It's probably about 1 a.m. and Frank and M swap shirts because alcohol. Matt and I watch from the sidelines, keep our tops to ourselves, swap stories instead. I tell him about a, about a documentary we watched last night in bed. Drink gin, discuss women left next to rubbish bins and how this disgusted him. He tells me that three out of his four bosses are women. We are equal, we are equal, we are equal. Meanwhile, the idea is catching on, and in a sudden montage, eight twenty-something strip and laugh and sip and laugh and slip on someone else's costume inside a cramped karaoke booth while Matt and I talk about the pay gap. It's not crude, it's just a bit of nudity. Frank is posing beautifully, and Matt dutifully tells Lou that Alex's floral print really suits you, and everyone rides to tunes from someone's phone upside down in a pint glass, and we are equal, we are equal, we are equal. We are equal, we are equal, we are equal. Everyone looks great in everyone else's stuff, but it's getting kind of late now, and one by one, shirts are returned to rightful owners, and we drain out the bar booze-soaked and cloaked in a good night. The memory of someone else's shirt draping our drunken goodbyes outside the star, and this is when my car pulls up. I ask Matt how he's getting home, and he says, night tube. We hug, he shuts the door, and I ride to Stratford in the back of a silver Passat. Costs around 13 pounds. Cheap, I think, as we pass the entrance to three central line tube stops on the way home. Revelers spilling out like ketchup onto pavements, bleeding the night into gutters. It would have been five minutes on a train, my subconscious mutters. I came dressed as myself tonight. 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 I came dressed as myself, and while Frank might try on M, and we can all feel comfortable in someone else's shirt for a bit in a karaoke bubble at 2 a.m., Matt gets the night tube in jeans and a t-shirt, and no one says get home safe because statistics don't dictate us to. And while I might earn the same as him, and he is what a feminist looks like, I can't swap skins with him. His outfit is not armor enough to protect the one I'm living in, and I know I'm giving in. I know my social life costs me 13 pounds more a week than Matt. That's £52 a month, which added up makes an average of £624 a year that I spend on this app, which, ironically, if you deduct it from my salary, does nothing to eliminate the pay gap. But more than that, when Matt walks to the station, he does not see himself on the roadside like a garbage bag. He does not imagine what it would be like to be a hashtag. He is not concerned that by wearing these shoes, he is asking for it. I came dressed as myself tonight. I came dressed as myself tonight. I came dressed as myself tonight. We are equal. He's probably just thinking about how convenient it is they can get the train after midnight. And how funny Frank looked in that top tonight. And how glad he is that he came dressed as himself. Meanwhile, 13 pounds narrowly escapes my account counting herself lucky that she took the safer option, that she got home in one piece, that she was a well-spent decision, sat on the sidelines at the back of a silver passat, wishing for once that she came dressed as someone else. I came dressed as myself tonight. I came dressed as myself tonight. I came dressed as myself tonight. So rehearsed, everybody.